Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Jacqueline and this is Low Carb Lish, the channel where we make low carb versions of our favorite high carb foods, try to keep our blood sugars down and reverse type 2 diabetes. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be doing something really simple and really tasty. I got an email from a gentleman not too long ago and he was telling me that he is really on a tight budget and also he does not enjoy cooking and so the extent of his cooking is rotisserie chickens, canned foods, frozen foods and, and that. So um, we're going to make a chicken vegetable soup today with mostly canned items and some frozen items and I've got some rotisserie chicken here too. And I'll leave all the macros and the calories and everything down below. This um, soup is super low carb and also very low calorie. And like I said, it's really tasty. So I'm just going to go over what we're going to put in. And then I'm going to move everything over to the stove because this is like a one pot deal. Um, one thing I wanted to show you guys is I buy these um, containers of bell peppers that are already cut up at my grocery store. And this one, they sell it by weight, and this one was um, $5.57. And I got, there's probably three and a half to four bell peppers in here. And they're already cut up, so half my prep work is done for me. These last in my refrigerator for a week, and I usually go through one of them in a week's time. And um, I picked this because the bell peppers at my store are two for $5. So I'm getting more bell pepper for less money, which who doesn't love that? And we're trying to be budget friendly and basic with this recipe because I, I feel like if one person emails me with a situation or a question like that, there's probably more people in the same situation who have just not emailed me or don't know to email me or whatever. But um, anyway, so I'm decided, I decided to go ahead and make this. Um, so what we're going to put in this soup is I've got one can of green beans here and we're not going to drain this. We're going to use the liquid out of the green beans as well. I've got one can of chicken broth here and this glass has got the same amount of water that's in the chicken, the can of chicken which is 10 and a half ounces. And then we've got one can and this can is actually smaller than what um, I have been seeing. So I don't know if this is, um, what do they call that now when they're... Um, it's, it's a means inflation, but it's, si I think it's size inflation or something. Um, most of the cans are like 14 ounces. This one's 10, but that works out fine because that's what I would have put in the recipe anyway. So we, I've got the can of the 10 ounce can of the tomatoes here, and then I've got a jar of uh, sliced mushrooms, and I'm also going to leave the liquid in this. And then I've got half of bell pepper that's cut up that I brought, got out of this box. And you can see there's green bell peppers in here too. But I've got so many green vegetables going in here that I wanted to add a little color. So I just used the red and the yellow and the orange. Because since we can't use carrots and corn and all of that, I like the color that this adds to the soup. Um, I've also got a half a cup of edamame beans, and these are frozen, and so far I have not been able to find a Walmart that didn't carry these. If you can't find them in your area, let me know, but they're in the frozen food section, and um, they have them at Walmart, and at my Walmart, they run about $1.86 a bag, and there's, um, like I think, three or four cups in the bag, so it's a pretty good price, and the beans add like a nice texture to the soup. Um, so, and I'm going to show you a trick that we're going to do to thicken this soup up a little bit that doesn't include glucomannan because like I say, I'm trying to keep this very basic and keep it to where anybody can find these items at their grocery store. And then I've got a tablespoon of butter here and I've got one rotisserie chicken breast that I've pulled and, um, you know, shredded apart that we're going to put in there after we thicken the soup. And that's all that's going in here, except I am going to be putting salt, pepper, and garlic powder in there. Um, and I'll add all of that information in the macros too. Let me get everything over to the stove and we'll get to cooking. Okay, y'all, we're at the stove. Let's get busy making this good soup. I'm going to turn my eye on my stove just a little bit above medium heat. And I'm going to start off with the chicken broth and we're just going to pour that in. And then I'm going to add the water, pour that in, 
And I've got a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of black pepper in this container. I'm going to put that in. And I've got a teaspoon of garlic powder here. I'm going to put that in. And let's see. And I'm going to put the butter in next. I was checking the camera to make sure we're recording. I hate to make this soup and not record it, y'all. <laughs> that happened to me once. My camera died on me. So I'm putting the edamame beans, and remember these are frozen, um, in, and also the bell peppers. And we're going to cook this soup for about a half an hour. And the reason that I'm doing that is because I want the edamame beans to soften up, and I want the bell peppers to soften up. Um, and all this other stuff is already cooked, so it's not going to matter. So on, oh, on the tomatoes, we're going to put that can of tomatoes in. And I, I have not drained any of this stuff because um, we're going to need the liquid to make the soup. And then our mushrooms go in. And y'all, this jar of mushrooms, I never bought this kind before. It's called Pampa, P-A-M-P-A. -A. And um, I find this fascinating because it says the total carbs for the whole container is one carb. And that there's four grams of fiber. So I'm not exactly sure how that works. I'm counting this as zero um, net carbs because I don't understand that. But we're going to go with it because that's what's on the jar. Um, and so now we've got... Our basic simple spices in here and we've got everything except the chicken and like I said we're going to be adding the chicken in a little while but the chicken's already cooked too so we really only have to um, heat that through and so I've got to take some of these veggies out to thicken up the soup so we're just gonna leave it like that I'm gonna cover it I'm gonna set my timer for 30 minutes and let this um, stuff cook for half an hour because we want, like I said, we want the beans and the um, peppers to soften up. And then when we are at the 30 minute mark, I will come back. Here we go. Sometimes I set my timer and I forget to hit the button and it doesn't start. Um, but anyway, we'll be back in about 30 minutes and we'll thicken it up and I'll show you how to finish it off. And we'll be eating some yummy chicken veggie soup. Alright y'all, so it's been half an hour here. And I'm going to turn the heat off on this soup. And I'm going to get my little pasta strainer doohickey here, I don't know what you call it. And I'm going to um, take some of the veggies out here and I'm putting them in this little bowl instead of right into my little mini um, food processor because I don't want to crack my plastic bowl part of my food processor. So I'm going to let this cool off a few minutes while we're putting the um, chicken and everything in here. And remember I said this is a rotisserie chicken. Now you can 100% you know make your own chicken if you want to. You can put dark meat in here or whatever you like. Um, I just had this rotisserie chicken breast and so that's what I'm going to use in it. Um, and also because we're trying to make this an easy recipe for people who don't really like to cook. So I'm going to let the chicken sit in this broth and heat through and I'm going to cool these veggies off probably for about three minutes maybe five and um, as soon as they cool off then we'll be back and I'll put them in here and zhuzh them up we'll put them in there and thicken the soup up and then I'll show you one more um, tip if you want to make it a little richer still all right y'all it's been about five minutes so I'm going to put my little veggies in my food processor here my mini zhuzher do is just process these until they're like a creamy consistent length, consistency and we're going to add it back into the soup. So I apologize for the noise but it's just going to last a second or two. Y'all I use this little um, appliance almost every day and it's funny because I bought the system because this thing um, comes with an immersion deal 
And I hardly ever use that, but I use this part of it all the time, which surprised me. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway with one of these so soon. Do y'all think that's a good idea? I really like mine. I'm a little spatula out of the drawer here. Okay, so y'all can see it, we just have nice soup in here. And we're going to add this in. And it's just going to... Oh my gosh that was graceful um, we're gonna just add this in and it'll help thicken it up some and remember this is a soup it's not a stew so it's not supposed to be thick like a stew um, but you know it adds a little extra body to the soup so let me put these aside real quick and let me um, clean up this little mess I made and I will be right back I'm telling y'all, it takes skill to do the dropping I do sometimes. <laughs> I just, oh my gosh, I crack myself up sometimes. All right, put this up to the side too. All right, let me grab a bowl real quick because I forgot to grab a bowl. I forgot to grab a bowl, y'all. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I got the bowls and we're ready to go here. And um, this soup is so low in calories. One, it, this recipe will make seven cups, and um, one cup of the soup has got eight, uh, right on, under 87 calories, and uh, three and a half net carbs. And um, I'm going to plate some of this up in one of these bowls, and then I'm going to show you how to thicken. Well, not thicken it, but richen it up a little bit. Um, and then I'll put it over and get you a close-up shot of it. But y'all, isn't that some pretty soup? So let me get this other one plated up here. So what I like to do with this recipe is add um, a half a cup of whipping cream um, to the soup. And it just adds a, a more rich flavor and gives it that sort of creamy look that we're used to when we make chicken um, vegetable or chicken noodle soup. And it's just, you know, adds a little, another layer of flavor that I enjoy. So we're going to put some of this in a bowl and let you see. And if you add the cream to this, it adds calories, but it does not add any more carbs. So if you eat the version with the cream in it, you're looking at um, about 144 calories um, per cup. And the carbs are still low, um, under 3.5 3 carbs per cup. So even if you did like this, the two cup serving um, for your meal, you're still under 300 calories if you're eating the cream. If you're eating the kind with no cream, you're still, you're under 200 calories for this meal. And you can add other things, you know, your low carb crackers, low carb bread, um, whatever you want to go with it if you want something to have with it. And it's really tasty. So let me get back over here and get you guys a close up shot and then we'll do a little taste test. Okay, y'all, so there's the close-up shot that I wanted you to see, um, just so you could see the difference in the ones with the cream and the ones without the cream. Um, they are both very, very tasty. And remember, today's Motivational Monday, and today's quote is, Be kind whenever possible. And remember, it's always possible. Alright, y'all, so it's time for the taste test. First, we're going to do the one without the cream in it. Very good. I'm going to get a sip of coffee. I like that a lot. And then this recipe with the cream in it is also going to be delicious. I know it is. <laughs> Um, you guys, I really like both of these. So I hope that y'all like this budget basic chicken vegetable soup. I think it's really tasty. It's super fast. And another thing I really like about this recipe is super easy cleanup. You just toss the cans and, you know, wash out a couple of the bowls and you're, you're good to go. Um, this will also freeze beautifully either version 
freezes beautifully. You can portion out, um, you know, one or two cups, however you want to do your portions, and pop them in the freezer. And then on those busy days or nights where you don't want to cook or you don't have time to cook, just pop them out, put them in a bowl, stick them in the microwave, you're good to go. So I just want to thank you for coming by and cooking with me today. Also, if you'd hit that like button, I would really appreciate it. It helps people that have just been diagnosed find my channel and find the help they're looking for. And if you're not subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would think about subscribing. Um, we have a lot of fun on this channel, and if you hit the little notification bell, you'll never miss another recipe, giveaway, or just pure silliness that we have going on here. So I hope that you guys will enjoy this recipe. I hope you have a most fantastic week. I love you, love you, love you. So take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.